about a foot to three feet of water to roll, and uh, his uh, way of feeding is quite uh, colorful because you, you see him feeding all the time. He'll, he'll tip up to, the, to, to a, on a 45 degree angle, and uh, you see his tail just above the surface of the water, and uh, uh, if there's a lot of them on a, on a flat, why it's quite colorful seeing them work. Very scary, and they fight tremendously, and uh, I think that the game is fish I've ever fished for. Yeah, that's mighty interesting. From what uh, sort of fishing do you derive the most pleasure? Well, uh, that's easy, bone fishing. That's bone fishing. <laughs> How about hunting, Ted? Do you do much of that? Yes, I've done an awful lot of hunting, but I think as I get older, I'm becoming more of a fisherman than I was hunter. <laughs> Ted, have you tried uh, ever tried deer hunting in New Hampshire? No, I never have. All my deer hunting has been uh, centralized in Minnesota. We have excellent deer hunting condition here in the Granite State, Ted, and how about making a date later on to come here to enjoy the sport? Well, that's a good deal. You fix it all up and I'll come. <laughs> I will. Sam, uh, let me do a little bit of pitching, if I may, or rather, uh, I wanted to mention to you at this time that uh, the Rocha was up our way, and we had quite a banquet. Undoubtedly, you're familiar with the banquets we have there, aren't you, Ted? Well, you bet. Uh, I remember the, never will forget the February 3rd banquet of 1950, and that was when your paper and the loyal fans of your city honored me in a testimonial. It's a little of my memories for life. Yes, Ted, that was an outstanding affair. And the large strong, 986 strong that night, which attended that banquet, still talks about the great impression you made on them that night. If you'll recall, Ted, you wore a tie that night. That was the last time, too, that I wore that. <laughs> Swinging back to baseball, the coming campaign in the American League will not be like those in the past, Ted, with possibly yourself out of it, Joe DiMaggio and Bobby Doerr. Uh, what do you think of the American League as a whole, this coming campaign? Well, in past, uh, there's been other established uh, stars that have left the picture, and baseball, a great game as it is, has always carried on, and there's no doubt that what it'll uh, forever surge ahead, and uh, new players will crop up that will make them forget about the old ones. Then, uh, how do you think Lou Boudreau will stay as manager of the Red Sox? Well, Lou Boudreau is a fine manager, and there's no question but what he'll get a lot out of the Red Sox. If you were to make any pennant predictions at this time, who would you say looks good in the American and National League? Well, I, there's no reason why the Red Sox shouldn't be right up there. There's not a reason in the world. I think they've improved in a couple of positions that, that, uh, that uh, they were weak in uh, the last couple of years. We haven't had a right fielder. Vollmer uh, did a tremendous job last year. But for the last three years, we haven't had that real steady outfield. I mean, a right fielder that uh, we needed. And uh, uh, the catching department in particular has been a department since Bertie Tebbets left that uh, Thank you, has been uh, a little bit, uh, well, it has been weak, in my opinion, and, and I think that Gus Narhouse is going to uh, improve that situation an awful lot. Ted, uh, have you decided whether or not you'll report for spring training? No, not at all. My plans are so indefinite now, I, 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 if I was to say, I wouldn't uh, be honest. What's your weight now, Ted? What, 195. 195? What's your plane weight? Well, about uh, the same, or slightly less. Ted, in the event that you do go into the service, do you think that you will play ball in the majors after your hitch is over? Well, of course, Leo, that all depends on how long the hitch is. If it was a year, I'd possibly try. Uh, if I miss two seasons, I don't think I, uh, it would be worth my uh, time to try to put in another year or two. Ted, during your brilliant career in the majors, what pitcher of pitchers gave you the most trouble? Well, there's been an awful lot of pitchers that give me trouble. Uh, I could name them here for 20 minutes. The program is limited to 15. <laughs> so, but uh, some of the real good pitchers that I've that I've uh, had trouble with have been, uh, uh, well, Newhauser and Feller and Lopat and Rashi Reynolds, Page and and uh, Garver and just a whole lot of them. Sometimes they, sometimes about the time you think you got a cousin, well, he stops you. And about the time that you think a guy's real tough, you'll have a big day against him. Ted, I know you've been asked this question on countless occasions. However, I think our listeners would like to know, what was the biggest thrill you ever got out of baseball? Well, that doubt, the biggest thrill that I ever got uh, was the home run I hit in the All-Star game in, in uh, 41 in Detroit. That was the time that the American League was losing, and the ninth inning was two out, and uh, I hit a home run in the line. So that was in 41, wasn't it? Yes, sir. 
Well, Ted, uh, I see that our time is just about up. I do want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here with Mike Willis. Your thousands of friends and admirers join me in wishing you wills of luck and come April 15th. May we find you playing left field for the Boston Red Sox. Thanks again, Ted. Good luck.